ball movement. Now, off the ball movement is actually more important than on the ball movement. What you do off the ball is actually more important than what you do on the ball. And this may be a very difficult concept for some players to understand, but it's very true. And actually, professional players, the average professional player, and I'm sure it's quite similar, maybe a little bit more for amateur players, the amount of time that one player spends on the ball in 90 minutes is 45 seconds to one minute. Okay, think about that, 90 minute game, on the ball, you're only on the ball for 45 seconds. Now that's because there's a lot of one touch, two touch play. When you do have the ball, you're playing quickly with it. But think about that. What are you doing the other 89 minutes of the game, okay? You're only on the ball for a short while. So you need to be involved, you need to be focused, you need to be doing the right things for the other 89 minutes. Okay, so think about that. Right off the bat, before I even give you these quick tips, just think about being more focused when you're off the ball. Okay, I don't have the ball right now, but what do I need to be doing? Where do I need to be? Who do I need to be marking? What space do I need to get into? Okay, just get that in your mindset right now. That alone is gonna make you a better player. Okay, so I just wanna give you two quick tips, one for the offensive side of the game, one for the defensive side of the game, because obviously you could talk for hours about off the ball movement. So I'm just gonna give you two quick tips. Okay, the first one I wanna talk about is offensively. Okay, so what I want you to do in your next practice or your next game is get in the habit of trying to make more forward runs. You may have heard the term before of hurting teams by getting behind them, okay? A lot of times, players are content with playing in front of the defenders, okay? We just wanna receive the ball here and then we're gonna to try to dribble past them or pass through them, okay? What I want you to get in the habit of is getting past the defender, okay? I'm trying to receive the ball behind them, make my life easier and make a more dangerous run so someone can get me the ball. Because a lot of times what happens, let's say we counter attack, okay, the ball is played up here and we're getting forward but everyone was just running to support, okay? I'm just running to get the ball here, give my teammates support. Okay, who's making the forward run? I want you to be the player trying to get into here. Yes, someone needs to come support. Maybe this guy comes to support, okay? But who's making this forward run? Who's trying to get into space? Who's trying to get behind them to really hurt them? Okay, so next time your team is counterattacking or getting up the field, I don't want you to think about just getting close to them, just supporting them. I want you to think about getting into dangerous space. Can I make this forward run? Okay, because even if you make this run, maybe you get the pass, yes, you get a great goal scoring opportunity. But if you don't get the pass, what happens? Okay, the defenders have to come, they have to follow you, they have to follow your run, and this makes more space for someone else to come into. Okay, so making forward runs is not only gonna help you get in more dangerous scoring opportunities, but it's gonna help your teammates, okay? So think about that. Instead of always showing to get the ball to feet, to play in front of the defenders, can I start playing behind them? Can I make more positive runs, trying to get the ball? Obviously you wanna stay offside, so watch the line, make sure you're staying onside, you're timing your run properly, but can you get the ball in more dangerous areas by getting behind the defenders, okay? Very important, especially for forward strikers, but also midfielders coming from deep, okay? It's gonna add a lot to your game. All right, so that's the offensive tip I wanted to give you. On the defensive side of things, I want you to think about being more alert and trying to read the play so you can win the ball as a defender, okay? So first of all, again, you're not on the ball for very long, you're off the ball, and a lot of the time, at least 50% of the time, maybe more if your team keeps more possession, or sorry, less if your team keeps more possession, but you're gonna be defending for a good period of the game. Okay, so when the ball, the other team has the ball, I want you to start anticipating the play, okay? Whenever the other team has the ball, I want you to think, okay, where is my man? Who should I be closest to? And you may not be playing in a man marking. Most teams these days play zone system, which I prefer, but if there's a guy in my zone, okay, I know the ball is coming to him. I don't want to get there after he gets the ball and turn. I don't want to close him down then. I want to start anticipating the play better. I want to read the play, okay? 
I don't have the ball, but I'm alert, I'm involved, I know where the ball's gonna go, I'm trying to read the play. So as it's there, I wanna be there right before he gets the ball or just as he gets the ball, or even better, if you can really read the play and you know he's moving to the ball slowly or he's waiting for the ball to come to him, a lot of players are gonna wait for that ball to come to him. If you're on your toes and you're reading the play properly, you're gonna come and sneak in like that and then you're on the counter attack, okay? You just turn defending to attacking because you read the play, you anticipated the play, okay? But my challenge to you is in your next practice, in your next game, I want you to try to be tight on your man every time he receives it, okay? If the player receives the ball and has time to turn, you didn't do your job. You weren't alert enough, you didn't read the play enough. Take responsibility, okay? If I know that ball's coming in here, I wanna be there as soon as he gets it. If I force him back, force him to play backwards, and they go that way, I've done my job, okay? That's great. I don't have to do any more than that. But if the ball comes into him here, I'm closest, Okay, I need to be there, I need to be touch tight because if I'm not and he gets turned, this is where we get hurt. Okay, when they're attacking midfielder or players in the midfield can get turned easily, that's where they're gonna hurt you. So when you're defending, the ball's out here, okay? I want you to think, where's the closest player to the ball? Who do I need to be defending? Okay, if I know the ball's gonna come into here, I wanna be touch tight as soon as he gets there. Okay, so that's my challenge to you. Can you find your man before the ball gets to him? As the ball gets to him, can you be right on his back? Can you be forcing him to go backwards? Or even better, can you sneak in front of him and win that ball, okay? Now be a little cautious when you're sneaking in front because if you're too late and he shields you off the ball, shields off the ball and you get turned like that, okay, that's dangerous as well. But if you start reading the play well, you'll know when to go in and when to just stay tight to that player and force him to go backwards. Okay, so there's two ideas I want you to think about. Remember, trying to make more forward runs, getting behind the defenders so you can really hurt them. And when you're defending, read the play, getting tied to that player, getting there before the ball gets there and forcing them to go backwards, or even better, making a tackle. Okay, so think about those ideas. Think about being more involved when you don't have the ball at your feet. What can you do? What space can you get into? How can you help your teammates? How can you be a better defender? How can you be a better attacker without even touching the ball?